1942, a classic film was released starring Bette Davis as a troubled woman named Charlotte Vale. She embarks on a journey of self-discovery and empowerment, exploring themes of love, identity, and independence. There are many surprising facts about this film. For instance, did you know that a memorable line, Don't let's ask for the moon, we have the stars, was actually improvised by Bette Davis during filming? It's these little moments that add depth to the movie's story. Another interesting detail is the soundtrack composed by Max Steiner, which became incredibly popular during its time. But there's more to uncover about this film, so sit back, relax, and enjoy as we delve into its hidden gems and timeless appeal. Do you have a special memory or personal experience related to this film? Share your stories below. Delving into the world of classic cinema, one can't help but be drawn into the intricate storytelling and captivating characters of a particular film. Directed by Irving Rapper and adapted by Casey Robinson from a novel by Olive Higgins Prouty, the screenplay sets the stage for a journey through human emotions. Throughout the narrative, the audience encounters various characters brought to life by a talented cast. The protagonist, portrayed by Bette Davis, commands attention with her presence, while Gladys Cooper delivers a formidable performance as the antagonist. The supporting cast, including Frank Puglia and Claude Rains, adds depth to the storyline. Despite occasional dips in momentum, the technical aspects of the film, such as the art direction and costumes, showcase Hollywood's craftsmanship. Thematically exploring transformation and romance, the movie resonates with audiences, despite its outdated historical context. The portrayal of familial relationships and societal norms of the early 20th century provides insight into the human experience across generations. In conclusion, the film remains a compelling piece of cinematic history, with its strengths lying in performances and technical prowess, inviting viewers to a journey of self-discovery and love. Film production began in April and wrapped up in June, with some additional scenes filmed in early July. Audiences finally got to see the story unfold in October of the same year. John Loder, a talented actor, starred in two films recognized by the Library of Congress, How Green Was My Valley, and the one he appeared in. Lee Patrick, an actress with many skills, appeared in a total of five films acknowledged by the Library of Congress, including the one mentioned earlier. It's amazing how these movies are still respected for their cultural importance today. In the making of the movie, Bette Davis initially walked out of Warner Brothers and refused to portray Charlotte Vale. Ginger Rogers, who was considered as a replacement, expressed her desire to play the character despite losing to Jack L. Warner in a tennis match. However, Davis returned to the studio upon learning about Rogers' interest and eventually played the role intended for her. Now, Voyager is recognized among the 1001 movies you must see before you die, according to Steven Schneider's compilation. Gladys Cooper, known for her roles in Rebecca, now Voyager and My Fair Lady, has starred in three films acknowledged by the National Film Registry for their cultural, historical, or aesthetic significance, as designated by the Library of Congress. During filming, Bette Davis and a child star found themselves enjoying a serene afternoon canoeing on the picturesque Lake Arrowhead. Their peaceful excursion took an unexpected turn when their canoe overturned, causing a momentary panic. However, with her characteristic grace and composure, Bette Davis quickly sprang into action, ensuring the safety of her young companion as they made their way back to shore. Meanwhile, on the bank, the child's mother looked on with a mix of concern and relief as she witnessed the Hollywood legend's act of kindness and heroism. As for the screenplay, it stayed remarkably faithful to the source material, mirroring the events depicted in the novel with striking accuracy. The only notable difference lies in Charlotte's travels. While in the book, she embarks on a luxurious cruise through the sparkling waters of the Mediterranean, the film adaptation swaps this setting for the exotic allure of South America. This subtle alteration adds a touch of adventurous spirit to the narrative, captivating audiences with its sense of wanderlust and exploration. Notably, the movie also served as a significant milestone in the career of actress Janice Wilson, who made her impressive debut alongside the seasoned talents of Bette Davis. Her performance added depth and nuance to the film, leaving a lasting impression on viewers and critics alike. In summary, the behind-the-scenes anecdotes and creative decisions that shaped the making of Now, Voyager offer a fascinating glimpse into the world of filmmaking and storytelling, showcasing the dedication and talent of those involved in bringing this timeless classic to life. Paul Henraid's memorable act of lighting two cigarettes simultaneously in the movie fascinated viewers, leading to a trend where many women asked him to do the same. This simple yet powerful gesture became closely linked with his character, adding depth to the story. 
The movie's main love song, composed by Max Steiner with lyrics by Kim Gannon, resonated with audiences and became a popular hit titled It Can't Be Wrong. This beautiful song further strengthened the film's connection with its audience. Produced as part of Hal B. Wallace's deal with Warner Brothers, the movie was one of six films he made in 1942, including well-known titles like Casablanca and Desperate Journey. Wallace's talent for storytelling and ability to spot promising actors ensured that each of his productions left a lasting impression on cinema history, with now Voyager being no different. Its timeless appeal continues to enchant audiences today, reminding us of the classic charm of old Hollywood movies. In the 1942 adaptation of Olive Higgins Prouty's novel, now Voyager Warner Brothers acquired the film rights to the third installment of a five-part saga. Prouty, the author, penned a detailed letter to her literary agent outlining her vision for the film's production. She proposed incorporating short silent segments to dramatize flashbacks, but producer Hal B. Wallies at Warner's chose not to heed her suggestions. Despite her efforts, the subsequent novel in the series, Homeport, intended for filming, never made it to the screen. One notable scene in the film involves Paul Henraid, who, in a memorable exchange, places two cigarettes in his mouth, lights them, and passes one to Bette Davis. This concept wasn't original, as a similar exchange occurred a decade earlier in a film featuring Davis herself. Director Rapper dismissed Henraid's claim of inventing the idea, pointing out its earlier appearance in the 1917 D.W. Griffith film. While generally pleased with the film, Jack L. Warner's brother Harry insisted on shortening scenes depicting Charlotte's Lake Arrowhead vacation with Tina. In summary, now, Voyager is more than just a film. It is part of a larger literary saga that underwent adaptation, involving creative disagreements, and recycled cinematic ideas. The production journey and behind-the-scenes dynamics add layers to the film's history, making it a noteworthy piece in the cinematic landscape. In a memorable film, Bette Davis achieved great success with her role, which became her most popular movie. One notable scene features her reciting a short part of a poem by Walt Whitman called The Untold Blunt. In the film, Paul Henry's character asks for two cointures, linking subtly to his role in another famous movie, Casablanca. These small but significant details add depth to the film, connecting different parts of cinematic history. Such elements contribute to the film's lasting appeal and importance in the world of movies. Principal shooting for the film ended 15 days behind schedule. Bette Davis and Claude Rains starred together for the second time, their first collaboration being Jurors. They would later work together in Mr. Skeffington in Deception. In her 1987 memoir, Davis expressed Rains as her favorite actor and colleague. Both Davis and Paul Henraid claimed credit for the two cigarette scene, but a similar scene had appeared earlier in The Rich Are Always With Us with Davis and George Brent. In a notable career, Claude Rains starred in several significant films, including Now Voyager. He featured in seven movies acknowledged by the Library of Congress for their cultural or historical importance, including Casablanca and The Invisible Man. During a scene set in a nightclub, Charlotte and Jerry danced to Perfidia after missing their boat in Rio. Interestingly, this same tune was danced to by Rick and Ilsa in the Paris flashback scene of Casablanca. Mary Wicks received a weekly salary of $500 for her role in the film. The movie now, Voyager, first aired on television in various cities across the United States in the mid-1950s. The film features a brooch worn by different actresses in various scenes, which was also used in other famous movies like Casablanca and Mildred Pierce. Additionally, the patio chair scene and the Rio lunch scene were previously used in Casablanca and later auctioned in New York. It is noteworthy that studios often reuse props, costumes, and sets for multiple films. Now, Voyager is included in the Criterion Collection as Spine 1004. Bette Davis and Janice Wilson, who portray a mother and daughter respectively in Now, Voyager reunited in Watch on the Rhine. The iconic line, Oh Jerry, don't let's ask for the moon. We have the stars was ranked as the 46th greatest movie quote by the American Film Institute. Director Hal B. Wallis insisted on concealing the protagonist's transformed appearance with a wide-brimmed hat in the first scene post-metamorphosis. He aimed to sustain the character's shyness and suspense. Despite objections from Jack L. Warner, Wallis proceeded with his vision, maintaining the mystery surrounding her new persona. In the movie now, Voyager, Bette Davis requested costume designer Ori Kelly to pad her figure and makeup artist Perk Westmore to thicken her eyebrows for her portrayal of Charlotte before her transformation. Originally, she wanted a more extreme look, but it was considered too grotesque by Halby Wallis. 
Later, Lux Radio Theater broadcasted a 60-minute radio adaptation of the film on February 11, 1946, with Bette Davis reprising her role. Additionally, another radio adaptation aired on May 10, 1943, featuring Paul Henraid in his film role. In three separate films, Bette Davis portrayed characters named Charlotte. One of these films is now Voyager. In the movie, Gladys Cooper plays an overbearing mother to Bette Davis' character. Interestingly, Cooper would later portray another overbearing mother in separate tables 16 years later. Initially, Edmund Gooding was set to direct now Voyager and had Irene Dunn in mind for the lead role. However, due to illness, Michael Curtis took over, considering either Norma Shearer or Ginger Rogers for the lead. Bette Davis actively campaigned for the role and convinced the producer that she was the perfect fit for Charlotte Vale. However, she refused to work with Curtis, resulting in Irving Rapper directing the film instead. Set against the backdrop of a convalescence hospital, now Voyager features a scene where Charlotte encounters Jerry, her former flame, as she navigates the complexities of her engagement. The piano player serenades them with Cole Porter's Night and Day. Claude Rains initially declined the role of Jack with, deeming it insufficiently substantial. However, the character was bolstered to suit him, and he earned $5,000 per week for six weeks' work. In the making of the film, the producer, Hal B. Wallies, made some changes to make it more exciting for viewers. For instance, he cut a scene where Lisa takes Charlotte to a beauty parlor. Another part he deleted was a dream sequence where Charlotte dances with a ship's officer. Corey Kelly designed all 30 costumes worn by Bette Davis in the movie, which helped show how the character changed throughout. Bette Davis, a famous actress, left a big impact on movies. Four of her films, including now Voyager, are considered important and are part of the National Film Registry. The other recognized films are Jezebel, All About Eve, and Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. Knowing these details about the making of now Voyager and Bette Davis's performances adds depth to its place in movie history. The film's love theme found its way into the seduction scene of Mildred Pierce in 1945. Janie's Wilson, a promising American juvenile actress, made her debut as Tina, an emotionally distressed child in the movie. Following this role, she seamlessly transitioned to playing Babette in the Lillian Hillman classic, Watch on the Rhine, where she portrayed Bette Davis' daughter. Wilson retired from acting while still a teenager. The comedic scenes featuring Giuseppe, a cab driver, driving Charlotte, and Jerry up Sugarloaf in Rio are notable. Despite the language barrier, Giuseppe, speaking a mix of Sicilian, Spanish, and Portuguese with an Italian accent, and Charlotte and Jerry not understanding Portuguese, the humor is heightened. Interestingly, the novel had the same scene set in Naples, raising questions about whether the script initially followed the novel's Mediterranean cruise setting. Listed among the American Film Institute's top 100 greatest love story movies, the film gained recognition for its impactful portrayal of romance. In 1971, it found a place in Summer of 42, where Benji and his friends experienced its narrative during a summer on an island. Remarkably, despite its release in October 1942, the movie left a lasting impression on the characters during their earlier time frame. Notably, Mary Wicks played the role of a private nurse for a challenging character in two Warner Brothers productions in the same year. Prior to her appearance in the film, Wicks portrayed Miss Preen attending to the ill-tempered Sheridan Whiteside in The Man Who Came to Dinner. This dual portrayal showcased Wick's versatility in handling characters within a short time frame. The narrative unfolds with subtlety, drawing audiences into the intricacies of love. As Wix navigates her roles, the film becomes a testament to her acting prowess, further establishing its place in cinematic history. Bette Davis expressed dissatisfaction with Max Steiner's Academy Award-winning musical score, claiming it overshadowed her performance. The setting and principles of Cascade, the sanatorium where Charlotte undergoes treatment in the story, are modeled after the Austin Riggs Center in Stockbridge Mall. This institution, where Olive Higgins proudly sought treatment, emphasized physical activity, occupational therapy, daily talk therapy sessions, and rejected extreme medical interventions like lobotomies. The film's production had a budget of $761,000 and a 42-day shooting schedule. Gladys Cooper's performance in Now, Voyager earned her an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actress, making her the sole nominee in that category, not from a Best Picture contender that year. The filming faced setbacks, including weather delays during location shoots and Bette Davis illnesses. Cooper's struggle with lines attributed to her Yuzo commitments added to the challenges. Bette Davis' meticulous approach to scenes further slowed production. The delays caused scheduling conflicts with Casablanca, shared actors Claude Rains and Paul Henry. 
Reigns finished his work on Nell, Voyager on June 3rd, and began filming Casablanca the following morning, impacting both productions. In her career, Bette Davis garnered five Best Actress Oscar nominations in five consecutive years, with victories for Jezebel. Her fifth nomination came for her role in this film, though it wasn't nominated for Best Picture. Davis found working with director Irving Rapper notably different. He adopted a more collaborative approach, suggesting ideas for her to try rather than dictating her performance. Janice Wilson, who played a minor role in the film, later met her future husband on the Warner Brothers lot. Their meeting occurred when Wilson was just 12 years old. Amidst the backdrop of Hollywood's golden age, a captivating tale emerges, weaving together the personal struggles and triumphs of its stars. Throughout the production, the lead actress faced profound personal challenges, grappling with the loss of her husband while bringing her character to life on screen. Within the storyline, the movie explores themes of societal expectations and personal liberation, following the transformative journey of a repressed woman who defies norms to seek happiness on her terms. Directed with precision, the film delicately captures the emotional evolution of its central character, showcasing her resilience and growth. The chemistry between the lead actors, portraying an unconventional love story, resonates deeply with audiences, highlighting the power of human connection to transcend societal constraints. In its entirety, the production serves as a poignant reminder of the human spirit's resilience, encapsulating the universal struggles and triumphs of those striving for autonomy and love. In a captivating tale of personal growth and empowerment, a classic film tells the story of a woman's journey from repression to confidence. This movie explores the struggles within families and the pressures of society, focusing on the transformation of a timid daughter into a strong individual. Throughout the story, audiences witness the protagonist battles with her controlling mother and her path towards self-discovery. Themes of love, sacrifice, and personal development are delicately woven into the narrative, resonating with viewers of all ages. The lead actress delivers a memorable performance, portraying the character with emotional depth and authenticity. Her portrayal captures the essence of the story, leaving a lasting impact on audiences worldwide. In addition to the lead performance, supporting actors also shine in their roles, adding depth to the storyline. Together, they create a compelling cinematic experience that continues to captivate audiences today. Overall, this timeless classic remains beloved for its engaging story, memorable performances, and themes of empowerment and growth. It stands as a testament to the power of cinema to inspire and move audiences. In a surprising twist, a movie from 1942 holds a sorrowful piece of trivia. Despite being loved by many, it has a tragic backstory. One of its stars, Gladys Cooper, who played Mistress Henry Vale, experienced a heartbreaking loss during filming. Her daughter, Joan, passed away in an accident, casting a shadow over the production and deeply affecting everyone involved. Despite her personal tragedy, Gladys Cooper continued with her role, delivering a touching performance that still resonates today. Directed by Irving Rapper, the movie follows the journey of a repressed woman who discovers herself and her voice through love and self-discovery. It features a moving performance by Bette Davis in the lead role, alongside Paul Henraid as her love interest. The film's emotional depth and complex characters have made it a classic in cinematic history. Despite the challenges faced during its production, the movie remains a powerful reminder of the human spirit's resilience and the enduring importance of love and self-discovery in difficult times. In a surprising twist, one lesser-known fact about a classic 1942 film involves the personal struggles of a cast member. During its production, a cast member, Mary Wicks, faced a heartbreaking ordeal. She had recently lost her brother in World War II, which deeply affected her performance as Nurse Dora Pickford in the movie. Amidst the glamour and drama of the movie, Wicks carried a heavy burden of grief, which subtly influenced her character's portrayal. Her personal sorrow intertwined with her on-screen persona, adding layers of emotion to the film. The movie's ability to capture genuine emotions, despite its scripted nature, showcases the power of the performers and the challenges they face off-camera. This poignant detail reminds us that the lives of those involved in creating the film were touched by the harsh realities of the world. The story of now, Voyager gains an added depth when considering the personal struggles of its cast members, particularly Mary Wicks, who brought authenticity to her role despite grappling with a personal tragedy. And there you have it, a somber glimpse into the personal struggles that shaped the 1942 film. It's a reminder of the resilience of the cast, especially Mary Wicks, who delivered a heartfelt performance despite facing adversity. 
In an unexpected twist, it turns out one of the most memorable scenes in a classic film wasn't planned. During the making of the movie, an iconic line was born from the spontaneity of the lead actress, Bette Davis. The now famous words, oh Jerry, don't let's ask for the moon. We have the stars weren't part of the script, but emerged from Davis's heartfelt improvisation. This unscripted moment left everyone on set and all, and went on to become a cherished part of cinematic history. However, behind the scenes, there was more than meets the eye. The actor who portrayed Jerry, Paul Henraid, faced personal struggles that mirrored his character's turmoil. Henraid, grappling with his own demons, confessed to battling alcoholism during the filming of the movie. This real-life challenge added a layer of authenticity to his on-screen performance, emphasizing the profound impact the movie had on the lives of its cast members. These behind-the-scenes revelations shed light on the emotional depth of the film, not just for the audience, but for those involved in its creation. The unscripted brilliance of Bette Davis and the personal struggles of Paul Henry both contributed to the enduring legacy of the movie. In a tragic twist, the character Charlotte Vale, played by Bette Davis, finds herself sacrificing her own happiness for the sake of her daughter Tina's well-being. Despite finding love with Jerry, she ultimately chooses to let him go, prioritizing her daughter's happiness over her own. Charlotte Vale's transformation from a shy and repressed woman to a confident and independent individual captivated audiences, resonating with many who saw parallels in their own lives. The film delicately explores themes of societal expectations, familial duty, and personal fulfillment, leaving a lasting impact on viewers. Directed by Irving Rapper and based on the novel by Olive Higgins Prouty, the movie remains a poignant portrayal of self-discovery and sacrifice. In an unexpected twist, now Voyager boasts a heartbreaking trivia fact the character Charlotte Vale, played by Bette Davis, finds solace in her transformative journey, but ultimately sacrifices her newfound happiness for the sake of others. Her selfless act resonates profoundly, leaving viewers with a bittersweet conclusion. The film beautifully captures the complexities of human emotion, showcasing Charlotte's internal struggle as she navigates through societal expectations and her own desires. Throughout the story, she evolves from a timid, an oppressed woman to a confident and liberated individual thanks to the support of Dr. Jackwith and her own inner strength. However, her journey is not without its challenges and Charlotte must make difficult choices along the way. Despite finding happiness, she realizes that her duty to her family outweighs her personal fulfillment, leading to a poignant and unforgettable climax. Now, Voyager leaves a lasting impression on audiences, prompting reflection on sacrifice, love, and the true meaning of happiness. Amidst the creation of a film, unexpected personal struggles cast a somber shadow over the production. A key actor faced significant challenges during filming as she navigated a painful divorce off screen. Despite her success on camera, the lead actress, portraying a character named Charlotte Vale, grappled with emotional turmoil that seeped into her performance, adding depth to the character's journey. The movie delves into Charlotte's transformation from a timid and repressed individual to a confident and independent woman, resonating with audiences through its exploration of themes like familial pressures, societal norms, and the pursuit of happiness. Directed by Irving Rapper, the story unfolds as Charlotte embarks on a voyage of self-discovery, finding solace in the company of Jerry, who becomes a guiding light in her journey toward liberation from her past. As the narrative progresses, viewers witness Charlotte's evolution, empathizing with her struggles and celebrating her triumphs. Anchored by the powerful portrayal of the lead character, the film delivers a timeless message of resilience and the human capacity for growth. As the credits roll, viewers are left reflecting on Charlotte's journey, inspired by her resilience and inner strength. The story serves as a poignant reminder of the potential for transformation within each individual, resonating with audiences on a deeply emotional level. The movie stands as a tribute to the enduring spirit of humanity and the universal quest for self-discovery. In a surprising twist, one tragic fact about the 1942 movie now, Voyager is the fate of the character Charlotte Vale's daughter. Charlotte's daughter, named Tina, is revealed to have severe mental disabilities and is institutionalized throughout her life, leading to a heart-wrenching separation between mother and child. This poignant detail adds depth to the emotional journey depicted in the film. The movie delves into the complexities of familial relationships, mental health struggles, and personal growth. Charlotte Vale, portrayed by Bette Davis, undergoes a transformative journey from a meek and repressed woman to a confident and self-assured individual. Her evolving relationship with Jerry, played by Paul Henraid, provides a poignant exploration of love 
and sacrifice amidst societal expectations and personal desires. Charlotte's transformation is facilitated by her interactions with Dr. Jackwith, a psychiatrist who helps her overcome her emotional obstacles and find her true self. Through therapy and self-discovery, Charlotte learns to assert her independence and pursue her own happiness, despite the challenges she faces. The film's iconic cigarette lighting scene, where Jerry lights two cigarettes simultaneously and offers one to Charlotte, has become a symbol of romance and connection in cinema history. This small gesture of shared intimacy resonates deeply with audiences and encapsulates the emotional depth of their relationship. Overall now, Voyager is a timeless classic that continues to captivate audiences with its compelling narrative, memorable performances, and profound exploration of human emotions and relationships. In one poignant scene from the film, a tragic truth emerges now Voyager faced significant censorship challenges due to its portrayal of mental health issues. This struggle reflects a broader societal reluctance to confront and address mental health concerns openly even in the early 1940s. Despite its critical acclaim and enduring popularity, now Voyager's exploration of mental illness remains a somber reminder of the stigmas that persisted during that era and, to some extent, continue today. The movie's handling of such sensitive subject matter adds depth and complexity to its narrative, resonating with audiences across generations. In an unexpected turn, the 1942 movie now, Voyager carries a poignant tragedy within its narrative. A pivotal moment unfolds as Charlotte Vale, played by Bette Davis, shares a tender connection with her daughter Tina, portrayed by Janie's Wilson. Tragically, this poignant connection marks one of the last moments they share together. It's revealed that Tina tragically passes away shortly after this touching interaction, leaving Charlotte to grapple with profound grief and loss. Throughout the film, Charlotte undergoes a transformative journey, breaking free from the confines of societal expectations and finding her own voice and identity. Amidst this personal growth, the loss of her daughter remains a heartbreaking reality that shapes Charlotte's emotional landscape. The film delicately navigates themes of love, sacrifice, and self-discovery against the backdrop of Charlotte's profound loss. Through her grief, Charlotte finds solace in unexpected places, ultimately discovering strength and resilience in the face of tragedy. Directed by Irving Rapper and based on the novel by Olive Higgins Prouty, now Voyager remains a timeless exploration of the human experience, resonating with audiences for its raw emotion and universal themes of love and loss. Amidst the production of a poignant drama, a personal tragedy struck one of the actors. The actress portraying Mistress Henry Vale faced the heartbreaking loss of her son during filming, which deeply influenced her performance, adding authenticity and emotion to her character. Directed by Irving Rapper, this classic film delves into themes of personal growth, love, and finding oneself. It follows the story of a woman named Charlotte Vale who breaks free from her oppressive family and embarks on a journey of self-discovery. A standout performance by Bette Davis brings Charlotte's transformation from a timid spinster to a confident woman to life. One memorable scene symbolizes her newfound freedom as she defiantly lights two cigarettes at once. The emotional depth of the film is further enhanced by Max Steiner's moving score, heightening key moments, and capturing Charlotte's inner turmoil. The movie is remembered for its poignant dialogue, including the line, Oh Jerry, don't let's ask for the moon. We have the stars, which encapsulates the bittersweet nature of Charlotte and Jerry's love story. In conclusion, this timeless classic continues to touch audiences with its powerful performances, evocative music, and memorable moments. It explores themes of growth, love, and the pursuit of happiness in the face of challenges. 